Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is my beautiful Lily Jade Elizabeth in the gray with gold hardware. And you guys, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I have a few favorite brands. Lily Jade is one of them. And you guys know my favorite color is gray. So this is a gray leather bag. And oh my goodness, is she not just absolutely stunning? Stunning, stunning, stunning. So I wanted to go ahead and do a review of this bag for all of you, in case any of you out there are looking for a Mother's Day gift for yourself or a Mother's Day gift for someone in your life, whether it be a mother of yours or a friend of yours, whoever you may think needs a beautiful full grain leather bag in their life for Mother's Day is a great time to splurge. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about Lily Jade a little bit. I've done several videos on some of my favorite Lily Jade bags in the past. I've never really talked about why I think it's worth the investment for Lily Jade bags. So if you're talking about a full grain leather bag, Lily Jade is one of the most affordable leather bags that you can buy for the type of leather that, you are, that you're getting. So Lily Jade uses full grain tumbled leather. So what that means is a lot of leather companies, when they're telling you they're using a full grain leather, they use sand instead of tumbling their leather to give it texture because when you tumble a leather bag, it gives it texture so that no two bags are the same. It gives it a beautiful like variance in its shading and how it looks and even in the pebbling. So when you tumble it, you get that. But what some other brands will do instead of using tumbling, which is a more expensive process, is that they'll use sand and then they'll actually stamp texture onto their full grain leather bag. So there's a difference in how you do get the texture and the variance in your leather bag. So no two Lily Jades look exactly the same because they are tumbled to get that kind of variant in how you get it. Another thing that's going on with Lily Jade, you guys, is that they roll the edges of their leather. So what that means is like when you're looking at something like the handles here, you can't see the edging. So you can't see like the frayed, unfrayed finished part of the leather. Same on like the pockets here. If you're looking at the edges of the pockets, all the leather's tucked in. So you don't get any of kind of what would look like almost like a suede where the edges are unfinished. They do the same thing on the tassel, you guys. So all of this attention to detail, both sides of this are a full grain finished leather. There's no unfinished side. So all this attention to detail really means with your leather that you're not going to get any peeling or any cracking of the leather where the color is on the leather. So on a, another full grain leather bag you may have, or they don't pay this much attention to detail, you may find in the future that you do get cracking or you get where the color is peeling off the bag. Well, you're not gonna get that with these, with these, the edges because they do spend so much time with the attention to detail. Now I talked to you a little bit about the tassel, but we're talking about like major attention to detail with, with Lily Jade. So not only do they finish all the edges, so the front and back side of the tassel, so there's no unfinished suede-like side, but you also have this, and I'm gonna say this word wrong, adventuring stones. And I used to on my other videos say that they were jade beads. They're not jade beads, they're adventuring stones. And I may be saying that wrong, but it's they're hand-picked to give this beautiful jade color um, with the Lily Jade bag. So literally guys, we're talking about like metal hardware. We're talking about the smoothest zippers I've ever found on any bag at all. Now this bag is chock full. You can't see that yet. And what I've said in all of my other Lily Jade videos, so if you've ever watched my videos before, is that these bags smell amazing. If you walked into the highest end leather shoe store, that is what these bags smell like. And they're, they're just, they're luxury. They're so soft and supple. You can see these handles here, you guys. This bag is relatively new. I've only had this bag about a week. And these handles are so, I mean, it's like butter. They are so soft. And if you guys, I wish you could touch it. It is like the softest, you just wanna put your head on it. It's so soft and supple. You can see the beautiful pebbling that they get here. And again, that's from tumbling the full grain leather. They use full metal hardware. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now, while you're in there, I also want you guys to take a nice look at this with all the stitching here, all the attention to detail. So all these little extra features, let me go ahead and turn the bag around so you can see the back side. All the stitching paneling, they really do just want to give you a full luxury bag experience when you buy a Lily Jade. Now the nice thing about this is because this bag is so high end and so luxury, it's built to last. So you're spending a little bit more, but again, for this quality bag, they're not nearly as expensive as you would expect. So a lot of brands that are using a lower grade leather, they're not using all these attention to detail, charge more than Lily Jade does. So it is an investment, but it's an investment worth making because again, you're getting all this attention to detail, you're also getting a bag that's gonna last and you're getting a bag that's not only gonna be a great diaper bag for when you're in the baby stage, but it's a great purse for when you go out with your girlfriends. It's a great work bag. I'll tell you, when my girls were younger, 
my girls are three and four now, I was really loving the Megan. The Megan was my favorite Lily Jade bag. Now the girls are older, I really think that Elizabeth is going to be a great bag style for us. I'm really loving it, having it be able to be used as a purse as well and not just as a diaper bag because I'm not at the stage now where I need a diaper bag all the time. So I'm really seeing the benefit of having a bag that looks beautiful as a diaper bag, but also looks beautiful as a purse when I carry it out on my own. So bottom line is you guys, this bag is going to stand the test of time. It's going to look beautiful doing it. It looks stunning with jeans and a white t-shirt. It looks great with a pair of slacks and a button up shirt and heels. Like this bag can go from day to night and it goes from taking care of baby to going out with your girlfriends or going to a work function absolutely seamlessly. So I wanna go ahead and talk to you about the bag and show you how I do have it packed up. Now again, I do have a three-year-old and a four-year-old. This is packed for a full day out. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. You guys, I am an overpacker. I will admit it, I am a full overpacker because every time I stop packing something and I think I don't need that anymore, I end up needing it. So what I'll tell you about the Elizabeth, you guys, is that it's holding everything that I usually pack and there's room to spare. So this bag is deceptively, it looks deceptively small and stunning while carrying everything. But really, I could put so much more in here, but I didn't need to. All right, you guys. So again, this is the Lily Jade Elizabeth in a color gray with the gold hardware. Now this bag can be carried over the shoulder, can be carried messenger style, and it can be carried backpack style. So you also have tote handles. So the tote handles are very, very comfortable. They're a rolled leather. They're super soft and squishy. Super, super squishy. Like so pliable and nice. And you can see because it was packed and it's a relatively new bag, the, the handles just want to flop over. They're so comfortable to hold the crook of your arm just because they are so soft and supple. The bag does come with this one strap. Again, this is what allows you to carry the bag over the shoulder and it allows you to carry it messenger style as well. I do really enjoy carrying this bag messenger style. I didn't think that I would, but I do. I am five foot three and a half and the strap is about halfway elongated and this is how long I need it to be to carry crossbody for myself. So it, I can also carry it over the shoulder at this length. It just makes it a little bit longer. So this bag can also be carried backpack style. So what you would do is you would take the strap here that's on a beautiful swivel clips. You would unhook it and you would anchor it through the top here and then you'd attach to the bottom here. Now for any of you who don't know how to do that, I'm going to attach an iCard right up here on one of my Lily Jade Megans where I actually talk about how to anchor the strap. There's two ways to do it. So I'm going to put that video here in case any of you want to watch it. You're not sure how to do that. But I do for some reason really enjoy carrying this bag messenger style. So that is the mode that this bag is in right now. Over the crook of my arm is also a lot one of my fan favorites with the Elizabeth, which was a surprise to me. I don't normally like carrying my bags like that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into how the bag is packed up right here in this front pocket. These are magnetic pockets and they have a great magnet. Do you hear that, you guys? I am not a Velcro kind of girl. Like these just are super strong. Like I'm actually having to like yank to get them up. They're great magnetic pockets. I don't worry about these falling open or having to like worry that anything's gonna fall out. And in here I have some quick grab items. So I have some disposable toilet seat covers for the public potties for my girls. And I also have a, this is made by Snoofy B. Now all of you always ask me what I'm saying. I will put this in the description box below so you guys can know. But again, this product's made by Snoofy B. These are plastic bags, but they do, they break down a hundred times faster than a standard plastic bag. So I feel a little bit better about using these. Now over here in this pocket, again, some more quick grab items. These are more my things. So I have a posh healer stick. I have, this is one of my favorite lip glosses, you guys. I'm only gonna tell you about it because in the last several Instagram photos I've had, I've had a ton of people message me about it. It's made by Dose of Color and it's called Sleepless. It's a matte lip and it's beautiful. I have a pen. I have bribery Tic Tacs for my little ones. They love mint. I have another lip gloss. I have a lip oil and a little lipstick. So you can see that was pretty much my mommy pocket right there, one of them. Then right here you have a hidden, you guys can see this, magnetic pocket. You hear that nice magnet there? So it finds itself really easy. And in here, I think I just have, yep, I just have my little pamphlet that I use for our grocery list. So that's my grocery list. Now each side of the bag does have a bottle pocket. And this bottle pocket, I have our 
hand sanitizer. And I have our sunscreen lotion, as well as our sunscreen stick. Now coming around to this bottle pocket, I have a Posh Healer Cream. And on the back side of the bag, there's another magnetic pocket that's just like the one on the front. I don't know what is in here. Oh, it's my receipt. I have a receipt in there that I'm going to go ahead and leave in there. So it's a full pocket, the full length of the bag. I will tell you, I do keep receipts and other papers in here because if I am going to wear this bag backpack style, um, I won't be able to feel any of that in here. So this is kind of my catch-all for receipts and loose paperwork, anything else I may have. Now I talked to you guys a little bit about the hardware in this bag. It's super sturdy hardware, but these zippers are absolutely amazing. So all Lily Jade zippers that I've ever encountered have just been the smoothest, most buttery zippers. So I want you guys to see this here. Do you see that? Now this bag is not even completely full, but this is what it looks like. I want to show you how easy it zips up. Now look at this, it's like effortless. It's the most beautiful zipper. But again, I'm gonna give you a top view here of what this bag looks like fully packed. So sitting right here on top, I have some quick grab toys for my girls. These are squigs, they're mini squigs. So any of you who've seen my bags before, you've seen that I used to carry the full size squigs. I started carrying the mini squigs with me and I change out, I rotate through what type of drawing activities and what type of toys I have for my little ones all the time just to keep it interesting. Now, if I take that out on the top, this is what this bag looks like fully packed. Now, the Lily Jade diaper bags do come with an insert. We're gonna talk about the insert in a minute. I do have this bag packed up with the Lily Jade packing cases, not with the insert. Let's go ahead and start right here on the front. So right here in the very front of the bag, what you're going to notice is that there's two slip pockets. Now, another detail that Lily J does is that they line all of their, or they edge all of their pockets in the same full grain leather that's on the outside of the bag. So it's just another attention to detail that's just beautiful. They also reinforce all of their edging to make sure that there's no wear. So you guys can see this, like this piece here where there'd be weight from holding the bag. This is reinforced all the way to the bottom. It goes all the way down to the very bottom and is stitched in. So it's like that kind of attention to detail, you guys, that is what you're paying for. So right here in this slip pocket, I do have a Jujube Custom Med Pouch, and this is in the Cherry Lemonade print. And I just thought this color just looked so pretty on the inside with this bag. It's not an exact match, but I just thought it looked really nice. And again, this is our mini med kit. Now sitting right here in front, I want to go ahead and make sure you guys get a nice shot here. I have my wallet. This is a full-size Kate Spade wallet. And again, I just thought it looked really pretty with the lining of the bag. And sitting right in front right here, I have another GGB custom piece and the uni print. And in here I have some drawing activities for my girls. I have two mini play pack cases and two boogie boards. So this is what the bag looks like now. What you're seeing is a small and a medium Lily Jade packing case. So right here on the front is the small Lily Jade packing case. They do come in a small, medium, and large when you buy the set. Now this is our restaurant essentials. And in here, I have a toothbrush container full of straws. I have a baggie full of table topper mats. I'm gonna put this down so I can get in here easier. I have um, a probiotic that I carry with us. I have a Snoofy B set of silicone holders. These can be for younger babies, chewers, chew teething toys, but they also work to loop like a, a cloth napkin through to make a bib. So if we're ever out and the girls need to have a bib for whatever reason, they're eating pomegranates, they're having, you know, chocolate or something and they're wearing nice clothing, I have an, I have an ability to make a makeshift bib out of a napkin for them. I have a vestige holdover paper bib that we will never use. I have some Kleenex, a toothbrush, and some dental floss. Now sitting right behind that is the medium Lily Jade packing case. And in here is kind of my emergency change of clothes. Now both of my girls are potty trained. They've been potty trained for a very long time. The chances of my little ones having an accident are pretty much next to, next to nothing, knock on wood. 
but the second I stop carrying a change of clothing is the second that one of them will have a problem. And what I found is that when one of them needs a change of clothing, it's usually because they've spilled like a cup of water on themselves or they've, you know, slipped in a puddle or they've done something like that. So typically I only carry one change of clothes with me, one change of clothes that would fit either one of the girls, but I do carry two separate sets of socks because sometimes we get out somewhere and neither one of the girls have socks on and they need socks for an activity. I have a comb. I have a size 6T dress with a pair of panties rolled inside. And then I have started carrying these because I love these. So this is a change kit plus. It's made by Handcraft Design, or excuse me, it's made by Handcraft. Handcraft is the company that if you've ever bought underwear at Target or Walmart for your little ones and they have cute designs on them, they were probably made by Handcraft. So in here, they designed these pretty much for like preschools or kindergarten so your kid could always have a change of clothing if they needed it. But I find it great for the diaper bag. But anyways, it's a plastic bag, a, a pair of pants, a pair of undies, and six baby wipes. So in case your kid did have an accident, you always would have something with you. And I just find security in knowing that it's with me if I need it. So this is what the bag looks like now. I'm trying to hold everything in place where it was at. So right here standing up is my Simply Gilded pouch. And in here I just have my mommy essentials. I have some makeup, I have some feminine hygiene products, just some things I may want while I'm out and about. And then right next to that is a GGB Pixel. And in here I keep hair essentials for the girls. I have a poppable hairbrush. And then one side has hair elastics and hair clips, and the other side has additional hair elastics in it. Both of my girls have very long hair, so I find myself doing hair while we're out all the time. Then just standing right in the back of the bag right here, I have a half full pack of the Pure Wipes by Pampers. And then I have, this is, oh, it's, it's upside down. So this is a wipes pouch made by Orchid Hearts Designs. And I love this pouch. I love that it loads on the side. So for those of you familiar with Y pouch, it's almost the same, except Y pouch loads from the top. I actually prefer the side loading of the Orchid Hearts design pouch. And then it pops the same way. It has a cute little heart cut out. But I have our wet ones in here because for those of you who use these kind of wet ones containers, you know, once you lift that seal, they don't seal up really good. I don't want the liquid to get loose in my bag. So I really like to keep them nice and moist and the liquid contained inside here where it's safe. Now the very last thing standing in the bag right here is our Zoli Sumo Snack Tower. I'll tell you, we took this out today and the girls ate almost everything in it, but each one of these sections holds one whole cup of food. So I had one section with nuts, one section with goldfish crackers, and one section with dehydrated fruit. And uh, there's a little bit of snacking kind of here. They ate almost everything in here. But this is a fantastic snack tower. And this if it gives you any idea, this is a huge snack tower, you guys, and I had it. I'm going to put it back in this bag so you guys can see. I was able to put it in this bag with everything else, standing up with a ton of room to spare. So I'm going to push it closer to you so you can see from the top down how much room. I still could put a baby carrier on top of this. I could put jackets on top of this. I could put blankets on top of this. There's still so much room. And this is a huge snack tower. Now a couple more things in here. So you're gonna see there is one zippered pocket on the back side, and again, it's trimmed in that beautiful full grain leather. And back here is where I keep my pouch. So for those of you who watch my channel for any length of time, you know that this is my Donatella Sweet Shop coin purse by Jujube, and this has my migraine medication, spare contacts, and dental floss, things that I don't want the girls to be able to get at. And the very last thing here in the Lily J bag is that you do have a little holder here for your keys. You could put a passy pod here. You could attach, any, or attach anything you don't want to lose at the bottom of your bag, which is just a really nice extra to have. So I want to go ahead and give you a shot of the bag now that it is completely empty. And look at the beautiful lining of this bag. The color of the internal lining is just stunning. So for those of you who have been here from the beginning, Lily Jade bags used to all have a red interior, which was beautiful. But when they changed over to this color, I just, it spoke to me. Now I want to talk to you about the insert really quick. So all Lily J diaper bags, not their lifestyle bags, but all of their diaper bags come with an insert. The insert is beautiful. So I don't know if you can get in here and see the quality to this. It's really soft. It's really cushiony. Um, 
it's super slick and silky, so it's nice and soft. There's no snags or anything. So for those of you who ever bought an insert off of like Etsy or you bought one off of Amazon, they can look really good in pictures, but when you get them, they're, they're really kind of scratchy and they're not high quality. This one really, you guys, is just so plush and so beautiful. You can see all the internal pockets that it has. You can just see how silky and beautiful it is. I love the Lily Jade insert, but what I will tell you is that I love to pack the Lily Jade insert in other bags, so I'm going to show you that in a second. But really quick, I'm going to put this in the Elizabeth so that you can see what it looks like inside the Elizabeth. So if you didn't want to use packing cases or you're not a pouches and pieces packer like I am, oh, we just lost the change pad, you can use the insert that comes with a Lily Jade bag. So the insert's made for the bag, it fits in here beautifully, I just kind of stuffed it in here at an awkward angle but it goes in and out beautifully. So if you wanted to pack your baby stuff in here and you wanted to leave just the insert with grandma and grandpa and then you wanted to take the bag out for yourself, you could do that. Now the bag also comes with, the insert also comes with a change pad. So it comes with a beautiful change pad. Now obviously don't use the change pad because my girls are older, but what I wanna show you is that while I didn't use the insert inside the Lily Jade bag, the Elizabeth when I packed it, I love it inside other bags. So this is, one of my GGB bags. This is a minied Super B. So the Super B is an unstructured tote made by GGB and it's huge. So a minied Super B is about half the size of a full size Super B. But because it's an unstructured tote, when you go to pack it, there's like nothing. It's just a floppy cavernous hole pretty much, okay? But look what happens when I take the insert and I stick it inside. This insert is like made for this bag. Let me show you. Look at this. I've now added, I don't know if you can get in here and see this. You've now added, or I've added internal structure to a bag that had no structure at all. And it's the exact width. It gives a little bit of height so that I can pack it. So I love putting this insert into a whole bunch of other bags. I have a whole bunch of tote style bags that I love putting the Lily Jade insert inside of. So even if I'm not using the insert inside the Lily Jade bag that it came with, I always find other uses for them. But I know a lot of mamas out there really love to pack up their Lily Jades with the insert itself. And sometimes I do going back and forth. When my girls were younger, I used to use the insert a lot more, but I really, I love my pouches and pieces. You guys, I have a hard time moving away from the pouches and pieces. But again, if you have any unstructured totes or anything, this just, the insert fits so beautifully inside so many bags. But this is my favorite way to carry the mini Super B. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.